Okay, our final exam, or rather a previous final exam. Hopefully, no surprises. We spent this semester primarily on integrals and series, and that's what the test is primarily on. One is a pretty classic you substitution problem. We have the X, we don't have the two, but we can put the two in as long as we also put a one half in. The antiderivative of e to the u is e to the u. And u is x squared. Two. Two look a lot to like an arc sign to me. In fact, if we let u be 2x, du would be a 2dx, then we would now, to get the two, um, we need to put in a one half, just like in the previous problem. But then we have one half the integral of one over the square root of one minus u squared du, which is one half the arc sine of u, thus a constant of integration, one half the arc sine of two x, plus a constant of integration. This is a classic integration by parts problem. If we let u be x, du is one dx, we can let dv be the sign then V is the negative cosine. And this is UV minus the integral of V DU. So negative x cosine x plus this, this negative sign and this negative sign cancel. The antiderivative of the cosine is the negative sign plus a constant of integration. Once you recognize the trick in four, it's pretty quick. But of course, that once you recognize the trick can conceal a lot of a lot of effort and false start. 
we say, we look at this and we see it looks a little like the arc tangent. But to be the arc tangent, we wouldn't have this 2x, we wouldn't have this x to the fourth. So letting u be x squared will let us turn this x to the fourth into u squared while simultaneously getting rid of this 2x by turning it into du. And then this is the arc tangent of u, which is the arc tangent of x squared. So one over x has as its derivative negative one over x squared. So this is crying out for you substitution. We don't have a negative sign, but we can put two negative signs in. They'll cancel each other out. And we get the cosine of u du. Now, one over pi and two over pi are values that x goes between. When x is one over pi, u is pi. One over one over pi is pi. And um, when x is two over pi, well, one over two over pi is pi divided by two. And it's fine that pi, that the lower limit is bigger than the upper limit. That doesn't change anything. The antiderivative of the cosine, what am I writing? Is the sine evaluated from pi to pi over two? Um, the sine of pi over two is one. The sine of pi is zero. Uh, 